Hey, it's Legend here for XBLN, back with another game preview. Today we are checking out Gustbusters Spirits Unleashed. This game was developed and published by Elphonic and releasing on the Xbox Store on October 18th and also other consoles and platforms as well on the same date. And the price will be $39.99. As usual, I appreciate everyone for coming to check out this preview here on our channel. And also would appreciate if you guys drop a like and also sub to the channel. That goes a long way in supporting the channel as well. We'll jump right into this game here. As this game is a 4v1 multiplayer game, but today we'll be checking out the tutorial just to show you guys the basics and how the game looks in place. We'll check it out here with this opening video. Corporeal manifestations, full-scale psychomagnetic events, exiled Sumerian gods. For a fleeting ephemeral moment, we were heroes, celebrated across the city, heck, across the world, unparalleled in our field. Preternatural pioneers on the brink of discoveries our scientific forefathers could never have even dreamed of. At even the slightest implication of paranormal activity, everyone knew who to call. Now, I'm sure you're wondering what happened. Chalk it up to a huge misunderstanding, a fallout. For a while, I wasn't sure why I was getting out of bed in the morning. And some mornings I didn't. That's all behind us now. We saved the world yet again, and we're back. <laughs> the firehouse cleans up pretty good, huh? At one point, some hot shots bought the place and turned it into an overpriced Java joint. But now, we're up, running, and firing on all 16 cylinders. All to code, too. Well, uh, most of the codes. At the very least, the codes we're aware of. For me, it's the energy of the old place. Pure ebullience, galvanic energy coursing through the air. And no, I'm not talking about anything psychokinetic, ectoplasmic, or paranormal. Just good, old-fashioned human emotion. Provinces of the living. Oh, I didn't know how much I needed to be back. How much Winston needed me back here. But someone from the old guard has to hold down the fort, you know? Because there's still real work to be done. And that's where you come in. The phone isn't ringing off the hook right now, which uh, is a blessing and a curse. What's good for business is a bad omen for everything else. But if it were up to me, I'd still be in the thick of it. But it's time for a new generation. And that's you. You have the chance to peek behind the capricious veil of life itself and see firsthand what exists on the other side. So don't be afraid to get your hands dirty. Well, slimy, really. And yes, that might mean having to pick up a book or two. What people don't know about the Ghostbusters could fill ten encyclopedias. And before you even ask, uh, yeah, I've thought about it. Been approached by some very interested parties. Which isn't saying much, every hack and wannabe with a laptop can be published today, whether they know the science or not. And trust me, they Ray. don't. Ray? Go ahead, this is Ray. Is there someone there with you? Uh... Let me guess. The new recruit is there with you? Ray, you gotta let them get to work. All trainees report directly to the firehouse, remember? Over. Uh, well, uh, that's our time. Good talk. Off you go to meet Cat. Welcome to the team. Don't worry, I'll be in touch. 
All right, so welcome to Ghostbusters. We have to go to the firehouse. Which is right next door here. Here's the Ghostbusters mobile. Look, I know you trust me, but you've got to take your hands off the wheel a little here. Speaking of Ray, hmm. based on the fact that you're 15 minutes late for your orientation, I'll assume you've already met him. He has a tendency to get worked up and can forget that we have an onboarding process for a reason. Love Ray like a brother, but he needs to get out more. Allow me to introduce the head honcho, Winston Zedmore. Welcome, kid. Happy to have you on the team. I may sign the checks, but don't go around calling me boss. If you have any questions, don't ask me. Call Cat. That's me. I run operations here. You and the other busters will get your jobs dispatched from me. Any trouble in the firehouse or the field, you come to me. Got it? Oh, and before you go, grab that radio off my desk. Okay, no time to waste, so let's get moving. First up, your jumpsuit, which you'll find in the closet. We'll get to customize our buster here and change their physique. Hey, we could really use your help out there. Your body adjustment as well. Keep your frequency tuned. I'll stay in contact. Hey, we could really use your help out there. Hey, we hey we could really use your hey we could really use your help out there. Hey. We could really use your help out there. Hey, customize the body, face. Let's we'll make a buster here, right quick. Not gonna really worry about any of those details. We'll get to the hairstyles. You also tweak the fe facial hair as well here and but you no know, don't have any to really tweak here all right so that's the body they have outfits that you can change as well pretty much changes the type of jacket he's wearing You can unlock stuff as well as you progress and level up in the game. We're not done yet. We have um, Come meet me in the accessories as well. Put a hat, do rag on, things like that. We have shades, eyeglasses, double pads, knee pads, gloves. And you can change your shoes. But alright, enough of that. Let's continue with the tutorial here. Ready to roll. That's what we like to hear. Go ahead and pick up that proton pack. Sorry, that it's the hardest. Not to worry though, the base tech is solid. That being said, we have some fun new modifications in the works. Winston's got a tech guy upstairs, but you'll be wielding this for now. This is so freaking cool. Now let's learn how to use it. First up, the particle thrower. You had the toy when you were a kid like I did. You can 
imagine the real thing has some actual kick to it. And don't forget, that pack's gonna overheat if you sustain fire on it. So make sure you vent before you enter overheated cooldown. Venting manually will always be faster. Good work. All right, let's try some tethering. The ghost will try to escape your tether by pulling against your pull direction. When you see the tether getting damaged, pull in a different direction to counter. Already hooking them like a pro. Once you've got tethering down, the next part is the trap. Try deploying the trap first, and then you'll learn how to activate it. Deploy the trap. Nice! Now to open or close the trap, you need to enrage the pedal. Once it's open, pull the ghost into the field of the trap until it starts to get sucked in. The ghost can still escape, even when it's in the final pull field. So keep an eye on them until the trap is completely closed. And make sure to monitor the trap's battery, because the charge can drop fast when the trap is deployed and open. When you need to retrieve the trap, look down at the pedal or approach the trap itself. Once you've retrieved there we go. It, the trap battery will begin recharging. And that's how you trap a ghost. Well done! Not many could pull this off on their first day. You've got skills. Now do it 40 more times. Come in, Cat. Hey, boss. What's up? Keep it down out there. The neighbors are starting to complain. Again. Yeah, we need right. to turn on subtitles. I'll always just move on to using the PKE meter. Take it inside. Perfect. You got one down there? Sure do. Right here. Eddie can walk you through it. I don't know what he does in the lab all day, but I'm paying him for it. Quick look at the options here. All right. Eddie, are you on this channel? Eddie, this is the only channel you give me access to. Yeah, and for good reason. Listen, we got a new recruit that needs some pointers with the PK meter. Walk them through it. Maybe give our kind and understanding New York neighbors a break. I would, but I'm a little busy right now. I think I'm close to finally cracking with that. All right. If you pass your entrance test, this device should pretty much be second nature to you. The psychokinetic energy meter is one of the oldest and most valuable devices in the Ghostbusters arsenal. I wish I could take credit for its invention, but predates even me somehow. Standard ghost tracker. Bingo. Instead of further lecturing you on scientific breakthroughs, why don't I just show you? See how it's responding? The PKE meter becomes more active based on the direction of the signal. When you're right on top of a paranormal entity, you'll know it. It's picking up on the metaphysical energy that empowers not only ghosts, but tons of other negatively charged objects. When the PKE picks up the metaphysical energy of ghosts and objects, it'll light up and make a bunch of noise. The screen displays a pattern depending on the type of signal being tracked. A cascading dot pattern means it's ecto energy whereas an ascending dot pattern indicates a ghost drift. The sidearms will raise and lower depending on whether you're pointing it at the signal or not. The main screen and light elements will not illuminate if a signal is not present, so move around until you hit something. That's it. Congratulations. There's a chance you may not die on the first job. I appreciate the vote of confidence. Is that what it was? without a frighteningly advanced piece of technology could have found that one. Dare I say you're actually pretty good at this? Hurry up and find the last item so we can both move on to the fun part of this job. That's all of them. Good thing I wasn't timing you. My watch battery would have died. You're the office funny guy then, huh? I've been told that people warm up to me. Okay. You can bring the PK to... Hello.
quick, hand it over. This place is wild. Jungles are wild. Chaotic flora growing in all directions with reckless abandon. Everything you see here is exactly as I intend it to be. And if you forget, you're as good as a gazelle in a lion's den. Dead. You're dead. Yikes. I bet you're wondering why we're not using the more advanced gigameters, huh? It's the never-ending struggle between science and budget constraints. Looks like everything is calibrated and ready to go. Okay, now that the minutia is out of the way, let's get into the good stuff. Don't think that they just keep me around to calibrate supernatural dowsing rods for rookies, do you? Wait, I just realized that probably no one introduced me. Cat, did you introduce me? Absolutely not. <sighs> Hello, I'm Dr. Edmund Chan. But you'll call me Eddie, because everyone does, and it's what I prefer. It's nice to meet you, Eddie. I'm not knowing a single thing about you, I'm gonna refrain from saying likewise. No offense. None taken? As you might have inferred, I run the lab here at Ghostbusters HQ. That means research and development, full technological oversight, and... <laughs> the occasional new recruit instruction. If you have any questions about any of your equipment, I'm the one to ask. Only me. Don't talk to anyone else. They don't know anything. Like that cyclotron on your back. I bet you didn't realize that it could be upgraded. Enhanced power coils, frictionless ionizers, you get the idea. Tons of things that you'll use every day out there on the job. Mopping up ectoplasm, heralded as a hero. Uh, are you okay? The point is, bring me your gear and I'll make it better. Got it? Good. Looks like that's your cue. Gonna have to cut your orientation short. We've got a job, and I need you on it ASAP. I'd wish you luck, except I don't believe in logical fallacies. Hey, let's go out on our first job. It looks like it's multiplayer, so. It looks like we might be able to play it here, so let's see. Calm the civilians. Nothing to see here, just your standard ectoplasmic exorcism. <laughs> Thanks for getting up. <laughs> All good. Just had a moment. Trust me, we've seen a lot worse. I'm talking fully formed psychokinetic entities. Relieved to hear it. I'm gonna be fine. Don't worry about it, Faith. We'll have this all wrapped up in no time. Well, thanks. I guess. I just need there we to go. go out. Trust 
Trust me, we've seen a lot worse. I'm talking fully formed psychokinetic entities. Thanks for. I just need to chill out. <laughs> Might as well just go do the last one. Gear cart to change out gear and everything from there. I got slumped. We got property damage. Where'd that thing go? There it is. Oh man, got slammed again. The trap was too far away from me. Bad timing. Trapped out of juice. Man. Trap is recharging. It's ready. I'm deploying the trap. Here we'll go downstairs and empty our containment unit. Complete a few games before you can play as the ghosts. That's pretty cool. But all right, a few jobs here you could do. You do a random job where you can play quick play with other people. But that's gonna wrap up our preview here of the game. And we have checked out Ghostbusters: Spirits Unleashed here on XBLN. And again, this game was developed and published by Ilphonic and releasing on the Xbox and other platforms on October 18th for the price of $39.99. And as usual, please be sure to support the channel by dropping a like on this video and also subbing to the channel as well. And also check out other video previews on the playlist as well and other videos on the channel. 
This has been Deus Legend and appreciate everyone for watching and have a great rest of your day. Bye bye.